Yo, it's that Nez, dropping another review on y'all. This time, what we're going to be reviewing is the... <clears throat> Simple little review on a Defiant Timer. This is just a basic indoor timer, all right? Um, you know, I got a... You know, I was been telling you guys about how I got uh, several uh, Christmas lights and stuff that I'm running. You know, and um, and I have uh, se several lights running to different windows. So instead of having to run through the house, going to each room, switching on windows, you know, I figured I'd buy a couple of these timers. I got about three or four of them. So that way I could put on each uh, light, you know, for each window or for each group of windows in the room. You know, if there's more than one window in the room, I could hook it up to the one timer. So that way I don't have to keep going to each room. It'll just, they'll just switch on and off at certain times. You know, basically I wanted to come on at five o'clock in the afternoon and go off at like seven o'clock in the morning because that's pretty much it gets dark here at five and the sunlight comes out at six. I mean at um, at um, seven a.m. So um, with that being said, I'm just gonna get into this <clears throat> basic timer by Defiant. Uh, you get these at Home Depot. Uh, they're like three bucks, four bucks. Um, indoor basic timer you know it's in also in Spanish for those Spanish people people you have 24 hour settings on it so that way you can set it to go run for 24 hours or certain increments it's separated by half hour increments so I can have it come on for a half hour go off for a half hour come on for a half hour go off for a half hour it's it's um, pretty versatile as far as uh, you know a basic timer okay on the back of the timer got some information as to what it could do um, I ain't reading it you know how I do you can pause and read it if you want. That explains what it does right there. Some more information. And uh, made in China like everything else. Uh, there's your address if you want to call and complain or whatever. There's your barcode. And uh, your little warning. So, just going to get into this bad boy. Cut right into this bad boy. Nice and easy. Bam. All right. So that's it. Got the plastic open, and here goes the device. Bam. All right. As you see, this is what she looks like up front. On that side, nothing. On this side, you got the um. On this side, you got your uh, plug, which is just for your basic two-prong plug. And then in the back, you got your little voltage information and stuff like that, and you got the actual plug itself. On the top, you got your switch for a timer on and outlet on. Obviously, is what it says. This is for the timer when you want to set the timer for whatever, and this is for your outlet when you just want it to be on. Um, you just want power on at all times. You switch it there. Over here, you just want the timer to run. These right here, if you see, there's little doohickeys uh, two in between each hour. They're basically set for half hour increments. What you do is, because I want to set mine to run from um, <clears throat> five in the afternoon to uh, seven in the morning. As you see, the dark areas is the nighttime. The light areas is the daytime. And you also got the sun and the moon over there. Um, so first of all, first thing you want to do is set your time on it. So you turn the whole thing around to the corresponding time right now it's about a quarter to two in the afternoon here so I'm gonna it's not exact it's roughly so quarter to two that's best I'm gonna get maybe a little bit more um, and so what I'm gonna do so right now this timer is set for a quarter to two so once I plug it in it's activated so uh, as far as the time is concerned so now I want to set this like I said before 5 p.m. to 7 a.m. so what I'm gonna do is 5 p.m. Um, hold on. Yeah, 5 p.m. right here. Bam, this doohickey, I'm gonna pull it up just like that. So any things that I have up, that's what's gonna be on. So it's 5, 5.30, 6, and so on and so forth. And I'm gonna have all of these areas going around, all the dark areas going around on and basically, I'm going to stop it right there. 6.30 is the last one I'm pulling up. When it gets to 7, it's going to shut off automatically. So right now, I got mine on for 13, I'm going to have mine on for 13 hours. All right, because that's pretty much how much night uh, darkness that we have here at this time of year. 
Um, obviously, I'll adjust it, um, but I'm pretty sure for the next, you know, three weeks or so, um, because we're about three weeks from Christmas, so I probably usually I usually let mine to run to right after New Year's. So I'm gonna say for a good another three and a half weeks, this should be good for this timing, and leave it like that. Um, so obviously, the parts that are down are the parts that you want off. Your down means you're shutting off. Up means on. Um, so right now, like I said, you know, 5 p.m. to 7 a.m. Um, is what I have this set for. So pretty straight, simple to the point. If I wanted to, I could push some down. You know, so right now it'll. Right now I have it right now. According to this, right now it'll come on at 5 p.m. Go off at 7:30. Um, come back on at 8:30 go off at nine uh at uh nine come back on at um at 10 go back off at uh 11 come back on at midnight according to these settings right here so it's pretty versatile as to what you want to do if you want to go on and off a certain time but you know obviously that's you know not what i'm looking to do this is what i'm looking to do this setting right here so um pretty basic timer four bucks home depot um I'm gonna say cop that. Uh, uh, this has been the you know hardware tour review of the Defiant Basic Indoor Timer. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go plug it up real quick and uh, show you with the lights on it, just to give you you know show you that it works, and uh, that's gonna be it. So I'll see you on the flip. Actually, um, I know I just went over everything with you, but it turns out I had it. Uh, wrong it turns out that down is what you want for on so right now everything that I have off I mean everything that I'm pulling up is what I is the what I want no power so I have to switch it around this way so Wanted to go off at seven, come on at five. So everything that's down, that's the hours that it will be on. Everything that's up, these are the hours that are off, which I don't understand why they did it that way. I would think that you pull it up to release the power to, the, um, to whatever you're plugged in here, but apparently pulling it up, you know, um, cuts the power. So, as you see here, I have pushed down from 5 p.m. all the way to 7 a.m. These are all down, and that's when this device is gonna be on, giving power to whatever is plugged into here. Um, this right here is when it cuts the power to whatever is plugged into there. Um, so, disregard what I said earlier. This is the way that it's supposed to be. Um, I just realized it because when I went and looked at one of my other devices, I realized that it had it reversed. <laughs> so, uh, so this is how it's supposed to be. All right. So I just wanted to correct that for you. So now I'm going to go plug it in so you can actually see it in action. So I'll see you on the flip for real this time. We back in. Um, as you can see, I have it plugged into my bay window. Got some lights hooked up to it right there. And right now, as you can see, my timer where I have it set up to, you know, coming on at 5 p.m., and going off at 7 a.m. But right now it switches to timer on, but I'm gonna switch it to com uh, completely on so you can see um, that it in fact turns the lights on when I can switch it to on. So I just switched it to on and you just seen that the lights came on. I'm gonna switch it to off, lights are off, okay? On, lights are on, off, device is off. So right now the off is actually the timer on on this thing like I you know explained before which when it gets to the a lot of time it would automatically send power to the lights which would turn the lights on until the allotted time where it's going to cut the power to the lights. So this has been a review of the Defiant Basic Indoor Timer um that Brunez you know it's like 3 or 4 bucks at Home Depot you know definitely cop that it's you know worth it for what it does. Um, once again, I'm Dapper Inez, and I'm out this piece.